What is going on everyone today? I'm gonna tell you how to get your 5.7 Hemi to beat a 392. What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. First things first, I now have Cam Ram hoodies for sale, please. If you bought a Cam Ram t-shirt, if you're looking for a hoodie, you got a Ram, and you know, it doesn't actually have to be Cam, but I actually get that question. It's just, you know, representative of my uh, of my truck. I call my Ram, my, my truck the Cam Ram. So I got hoodies for it, and the, the Cam Ram t-shirt sold very well, so I feel that I made hoodies now that it's becoming fall and winter, winter season is coming up. So yes, Cam Ram hoodies. I'll have a link in the description for where you can buy them at. You should be able to, you, you will be able to see them in my Teespring merchandise. That's basically under every single video. I have all my merchandise for sale. There's Cam Ram hoodies, incredible Hemi hoodies. I'm sorry, Cam Ram hoodies, incredible Hemi t-shirts, and Cam Ram t-shirts. The Cam Ram hoodies are actually a little bit better uh, image quality than the t-shirts. So if you have one of them and uh, the quality actually is a little bit better, I figured out how to make it better for the uh, hoodies. I worked on that a little bit more. So please pick up your Cam Ram hoodies, you know what I mean? And help support the channel. That's the main reason for uh, for doing merchandise, help support the channel so I can grow and help you and make the best content for you guys, give you guys the best tips I can for you to make your vehicle faster, your 5.7 Hemi, your Ram, your, you know, basically anything in the ballpark of what of what you drive, if it's a, more, more of a 5.7 Hemi, because that's what I got. But in today's video, the reason I'm making this video is because of, uh, they had a, um, the, <laughs> sorry, I'm trying to get this out. Modern Hemi shootout was in Texas, uh, Houston, some Houston, uh, motors, some the Houston tech, the track. I don't live out there. I don't remember the name. Sorry, but yes. And a lot of fast Rams are out there and they're running faster times than I've seen any really good scat packs or, you know, 392s really run. And this is running, you know, this is basically off the, um, the 392 that is basically a stock motor let's say that basically a stock motor even with a freaking wheel and tire on it and maybe a little bit wear reduction these rams are running the same times if not better and these were running in 22 2500 da and sometimes it peaked at 3000 da so they ran some really good times and i want to i want to get that out there to show you that you can actually make your 5.7 hemi run faster than a 392 it is going to take some mods it's going to take some work but it can be done if you have a 5.7, say you didn't want to get the 392 at first, you could do these mods, and I'm going to show you what these Rams ran. I got the time slips. I got the videos. I got a lot of good footage for you guys to show you. And, yeah, these are they're all single cabs and two-wheel drive. My truck runs very well, but I do a four-door, four-wheel drive. And if I run a stock scat pack, I probably, I'll probably most likely take one off the line. You know what I mean? If they're, if they're on a tire, it's going to be close, but I'm not going to get them top end. Their top end just too hard. I have too much weight, too much weight to move. These trucks fully gutted are running in the 43, 4,400 pound range with driver. Me, I'm pushing 51, 5,200 pounds fully gutted with driver. So that's the difference. And uh, yeah, let's get started on, a, on some, of the, some of the videos and time slips that we got here. All right, guys, the first video here is Kyle Tingle, good friend of mine, and he is the owner-operator of Gauge Performance. He they, At Gauge Performance, I have all your Hemi needs from tuners, exhaust, uh, wheels, tires, everything you need. And it's not just hem Rams. It's anything in the 5.7. It's Hemi, anything basically Hemi-oriented, Challengers. He may have some 6.4 stuff in there. I never actually looked, but I, did see, I do know he has Challengers, Chargers, stuff like that. It's not just Ram stuff, but yeah. He does special, I guess he specializes more in Rams because he has a Ram. He's a Ram owner. He's a very good driver. Uh, I actually did a video on him with the first, world's first uh, 11 second bolt on Ram. Now he has a lot more modifications done and he was out there. It wasn't running his best times, which is fine, but it was also, he ran his new personal best and <laughs> almost a 4,000 DA difference. So that's really good. Congratulations on Kyle. I know you'll get that figured out. Your car truck still ran great. You're doing great things. You'll figure it out. Still ran 11.90, and uh, yeah, and he wasn't getting the best, you know, traction was an issue at first, he just wasn't shifting out right, so 
Here's Kyle's 11 9 0 run in 2500 DA. All right, now this 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 next video here is an 1174, which is now the per, the fastest NA57 Ram against a 1220 of another NA57 Ram. Both are running great times. They're both uh, one. The owner of the, the 117, the silver one, is Sean Powell Hemi Fever. Uh, Hemi Fever. I'm sure you heard of him if you're in the, you know, you know who he is. The other one's a guy. I don't even really know his name to be honest with you. Um, I just know he's got a real fast truck. I'm, I guess he's tuned by Hemi Fever. I am not too sure who tunes him, but my guess would be Hemi Fever. They went together, and I think they went with Matt Fikak, who was there. This Whipple ran. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother video I'll do about that thing at some time. But yeah, these uh, Sean actually set the record. He actually had the record, and he reset it again. At this date, it was 1174, and he's got it dialed in really well. And like I said, this is very hot weather. And these times are beating 392 Chargers and Challengers. Stop. They stock 392 Challengers and Chargers with basically, you know, tire maybe and some weight reduction in this weather. Now, all these guys have basically similar mods. They're very all in the same range from full bolt horns, which include long tube headers, no cats, um, port of throttle body, port of intake manifold, you know, like a 180 to a 160 thermostat, maybe even a 170 thermostat. They all run track intakes, basically what I run on my truck, and they all run with a cam. They all have cams in them, all different kinds of Mohs performance cam. We got green racing cams. And uh, I know Texas Speed has cams. I don't think anyone was out there with a Texas Speed cam. They're too new. But Moe's and Green Racing cams were out there. And uh, ported heads. I know Sean and Kyle both have ported heads. The other guy, I don't think he does. I think he is. And torque converter. And that's, those are big things. They're all on drag packs, obviously. Good tires, good wheels, front skinnies. It, it, is, it does take some prep. And it is prep. They're all fully gutted. Like I said, in the 44, 40, I'd say 4,400 pound range. 40, maybe high 43s. So they, you do got to do some work and some prep, but you can be able to beat a 392 with that with those mods in a truck. Now, in the in the Challengers and Charger cars, it's probably just as just as capable of doing it. But I feel like the trucks respond better to the same mods. 
and uh, the cars don't have the gearing of the truck so that's why the trucks are putting out better times in my you know if you have a, if you have a 57 hemi or a 57 challenger or charger and you run with these times please let me know man i'll I may make a video about that also. Just let me know and I'll, I'll do, maybe I could do something. But I do this on the Rams because it's a Ram-based channel and I own a Ram and I'm following these guys and I know what they run and they're running great times. I congratulate every single one of them on what they ran over the weekend. And, you know, I'm going to get my truck, you know, close to what them times are, but probably in a lot lower DA because I am a much heavier vehicle. So we will see. I don't know if I can get in the 11.7 range, but I would love to break 11s NA with some more mods. And, you know what I mean? We're going to see how I can get going this year. But yeah, you can beat a 5.7 in a 392, but it's going to take some work. But that's also why you're um, building it up. The 392 guys are probably going to be commenting saying, oh, beat one of them. Like, Let's do it, man. They're, they'll, they got no problem lining up. I've, I've seen Kyle whoop on some, some Corvettes, some, you know what I mean? <laughs> He's got, you know, I've seen him beat up a lot of guys that dudes been racing a long time. Sean from Hemi Fever. I don't know how long he's had this had this truck. I know he's got it for maybe about a year, and he's doing great things with it already. And the other guy, I'm sorry, I don't know who he is. But there's also another 5.7 out there that is very fast. He just could not make it out. He had some issues over the past week or so. Jason DeRay, he's maybe had probably the fastest one there if he didn't have the issues he had. So he didn't get a chance to make it out. And, you know, maybe next year I'll be able to make it out to Texas and see what I can do with these guys because I would love to meet all of them because I'm from New Jersey. They're from Texas. So, yeah, that's what it takes to beat a, a 392, uh, uh, 392, you know, Charger, Scat Pack, whatever, SRT. SRTs are probably a little easier to beat because they're heavier vehicles with all the all the um, leather and stuff like that. But I know they don't make the 392 SRTs anymore. They just do Scat Packs now because they weren't selling as much. Cause you can get the Scat Pack for the price. Eight thousand dollars cheaper than a three ninety two. If you're gonna get a, if you're gonna get a SRT now, you're gonna go with a Hellcat or a Red Eye or something like that. You're paying in the fifty range. You might as well pay ten thousand more and get a, a Hellcat, in my opinion. But that's what it takes to beat a Hell. I'm sorry, that's what it takes to beat a three ninety two. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, you know what it is. To the next one, peace.